The truth is, this wedding might not have taken place. It's actually a miracle that it will. On Valentine's Day in 2014, there had been an accident. Nobody was sure whether or not Jordan had been paralyzed, but Lizzie was told she needed to meet them at the hospital as soon as she could. Lizzie had no idea what she would find when she got to the emergency room, but on the way to the hospital, she made up her mind that regardless of what injuries Jordan faced or whether he would ever walk again, she knew that she would never leave his side. She made a promise to herself at that moment that she would take care of him and help him heal to the best she could. And that's exactly what she did. That is the power of love. I never was much good at hoping Until you took my heart and tore it open I never understood what love was Until I took your hand with the load above and then you caught flame like a wildfire You came running to my life And you light up the dark But I can't see How you belong to a boy like me How you belong to a boy like me And I have learned that you're not perfect and there's sometimes when your love can burn you It's just the fools looking backwards A bitter heart turns the love we made to ashes A bitter heart turns the love we made to ashes And then you caught flame like a wildfire When I'm with you, I'm so alive And you light up the dark, but I can't coming out and celebrating Lizzie and Jordan's special day. Lizzie, oh gosh, I can't. You look amazing. And Jordan, you don't look half bad yourself. I'm so honored to be standing next to you guys today. My name's Emily, and I'm Lizzie's twin sister. Having a twin is such a bonus in life. From early on, it's safe to say we were best friends. Despite the occasional argument, although my parents may disagree with the word occasional, <laughs> we were inseparable. From stripping down butt naked and running around the carpet store together, to getting on our first horse, we've done it all. But as true sisters, we weren't always best friends. I remember when my parents used to tell us to clean our room and work together. <laughs> It always sounded like such a great idea until Lizzie would say, I'm older, so you clean and I'll supervise. <laughs> Let's just say it, that never ended well. But my parents would always make us sit on the couch together until we would hug and hold hands. And as much as I hated it back then, I often find myself wishing I could have a hug from my sister when life throws me curveballs. Growing up with a twin was the best thing I could have asked for. I always had a best friend, someone I could talk to, and who can say they switched classes with someone and got away with it? <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better partner in crime to take this journey through life with, and the best part about it is our journey has just begun. I've spent the last four years getting to know Jordan, and I want you to know that we love you and we're really excited for you to be part of our family.
Lord. As an ordained minister of the gospel, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And the moment you've been waiting for, Jordan, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jordan Grenwald. Never understood what love was Until I took the hand with a load of bullets And then you caught flame like a wide on fire You came running into my life And you light up the dark but I can't see how you belong to a boy like me How you belong to a boy like me and I have learned that you're not perfect And that sometimes one you love can burn It's just a fool that's looking backwards a bitter heart turns the love we made to ashes A bitter heart turns the love we made oh, to honestly, ashes though, I couldn't have handpicked a better person for my sister than Jordan He brings out the very best in her Both together and individually, they're kind and loving people I couldn't be more excited for you guys Even though I've considered you family since day one I'm so excited to finally call you my brand new, very own big brother so, and it's about time my dad gets another man in the family. <laughs> so let's raise our glasses to the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Grimwald.